with exactly enough cubes that everything apart from oh, oh yeah, yeah which is just that which is just the rest of the bag yeah <laughs> <laughs> Don't have any store, uh, any home sorcery. Store bought is fine. Can I move in this side? Oh, Are you recording? Yeah. Can't be bothered getting my laptop somewhere. Oh, excuse me. Next week. Huh? The gun of wonderful. Theragun of doom. Oh, the theragun. Right, yeah. And there's different. Not that we've used all of them because they're pointless. Most of them, but there's like different tools to get them from. Yeah. Different bits. <laughs> Programmed in multiple techniques. Functional and programmed in multiple techniques. So last week, last time, we were at. Awesome. Um, well, we were kind of awesome. We did we did some awesome things. We were at the Mont Saint Josephine, whatever you want to call it. I think that's quite a good name. Yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> and we had worked out that she couldn't leave, but that this place was quite a useful place. So an easier way to get here and back was very much in order. So we then took one of the like abandoned shops and houses, we cleared the courtyard, we kind of did almost like a, a summoning. I didn't realise it was an abandoned shop or house, I thought it was within the... Confines of her. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, there's nothing to say it couldn't be in the courtyard of her think, yeah. castle at the top of the hill. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we cleared some space and then we kind of drew almost like a sending pattern uh, Roland put up the same wards around the place as we have around the rows. Just, uh, just around the castle, around the whole island. And the whole island, mm. yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, made Maybe. a day of it. Yes. <laughs> and then. Is there anything else on the island? No, I think very much that this it is. Was empty. It was it's, just... it's like abandoned. Um, which is why, oh, oh crikey, that's something we're going to have to deal with, is that she borrowed money from the Emotion Mills Consortium to buy this place. Problems for tomorrow. <laughs> and also, didn't we discover that I've got a load of money that came from part of... Oh yeah, because they'd, they'd like done... They'd put everything in a bank account and it'd just be yeah, accruing... accruing and accruing. Stuff. Um, Something like, like compound interest. Bitches. But it make it rain. Yeah. But it's but it's orbs. <laughs> <laughs> make it pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, it was American dollars when I got them. When the first time I went, I did that across our head. It was like, yeah. <laughs> it's really satisfying. Um, and yeah, so we that's it. We tried to like make another. Um, dragonfly charm for mm -hmm. her, uh, but it we we like physically made it, but it doesn't quite match the charms that we have. It's not about the matching; it does, it's not we, linked. Is we it? needed the um, the, the ritual. It? Oh, uh, to to read yeah, the, 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 the ritual of the rose. Ritual of the rose. That's we why we were going back for you guys to do the shopping. Yeah, it was a dedication. Uh, leaf of Dedication and Leaf of Either Regret, Despair or Compassion. Yes. Um, and we've basically created our own spy for us to get from here 
Back to the rose. Back to the rose. So we could go shopping. But it's now our big travelling. We've 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 um, conjured a new floor in the rose, yeah. which is just our bifrost room. And how's your Daisy Gardner with it? Hansy Dave has his fingers in a lot of pies. <laughs> well, hey! And yeah, we just arrived and Eliana was like, what the heck? And we were like, what? not now. Hey! <laughs> Don't know. I'm going shopping. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Where's the sign? Where's the sign? Not ma no, it's still in the box. Not magic. <laughs> Psychic paper, not magic. Inevitable cataclysm. <laughs> oh, oh, not great. you again! <laughs> we have this before. No, it's fine. It's it's like the it's like the death card in tarot. It's fine. It just means change. What do you think? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we've had this pop up. Oh, you know, oh, okay. it's Inevitable. What's the shape? What's the shape? Okay, so that is the, oh, uh, that is visions, four of visions, enhancing gold, diminishing silver, but it's on the silver sun, so silver is, yeah, but, yeah. Well, we fear the cataclysm, it is inevitable, we cannot prevent it, the end comes for all things eventually and we cannot stop it, the earth quakes, the seas advance, the sky falls, fire engulfs everything, we can try to survive it, but that's... That's likely the best we can hope for. An optimist might try to say that a cataclysm can be cleansing, a change, things for the better, say. But the inevitable cataclysm really isn't about that. It's about endings. <laughs> the end is a beginning, is the end is a beginning, is the end is a beginning. It's session 61. 61. Divination. It is difficult to see this card turn as a positive one. Typically, if it suggests that something unwanted comes to an end, it's usually a violently and costly one. This card might be, might just be seen as ill fortune, but could also be the end of a relationship, the end of an ongoing success, or that a significant possession like a house might be in danger of destruction. Not magic. Not. Monty Cook, you game sorcerer. <laughs> so I guess at that point, my question is, what's the insurance on the rose looking like? <laughs> yeah. Are we up to date? Have we signed everything? Oh no, because we're going to have to update our policy because of the extra roof. <laughs> or extra room. They don't need to know about that. I don't know how, how home insurance works on the <laughs> What about zoning? <laughs> well, it says here that it's a three-storey public house. But it appears to be an 18 storey sorcery apartment. <laughs> With a pool. Sauna. With a pool and a library and a library in the pool. <laughs> and a den of iniquity. <laughs> With blackjack and hookers. Exactly. That, that's just Hawk's room. <coughs> that made me think of um, the, the, the Tango Hitler's building. Do you know about that? No. Trump Towers is not as tall as he says it is. And Lots the um, it misses out a bunch of floor numbers because oh it sounds more exciting to have like a a a, a, a room on the like twentieth floor than like the fifth and all that sort of stuff and it's like spare a thought for any firefighters that have to go there. <laughs> uh. yeah. So shopping. I'm just being your escort. You know what you're looking for. There's your shopping list. And then childish handwriting at the bottom is pickled onion monster munch. <laughs> Cornetto. Cornetto. <laughs> Hot lava jar for Cornetto. Or get that Ben and Jerry's with like the solid core, but it's actually a molten core. Yeah. Or the, Ice bask cream. the Baskin wow. Robbins. <laughs> Jalapeno. No. Lava Oreos. Jalapeno poppers, but it's actual gunpowder. <laughs> like those little fun snaps ends. 
Hester Blumenthal's not creative enough. No. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. He's stuck in rational thinking. <laughs> So anyway. You've realised that Heston is Norwegian for the horse. Oh. Yeah. Jalapeno poppers. Yes. With jalapenos in. Yes. But in the butter, popping candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dessert one. We have a winner. <laughs> no, it's still all savoury, but just that it pops and it explodes on your tongue. Figuratively and literally. Nuts. Whilst giving this nice burning heat. <laughs> <laughs> For the purposes of the recording, Dave's eye is doing the, the twitch. <laughs> TM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to um, trying. So is there a market in Tatarine? Uh Yes. They're I'm going for a specific one. I used to, to go to a different weird market. Yeah, there's uh, the... Oh, I can, can't remember the name of it now. The bazaar, yes. which is uh, it's another in the, in the same way that Far Town is a pocket. It's in a pocket dimension. Yeah. Uh, the is it the Forbidden Bazaar? You did say last week. You didn't week. mention what it was, but I can't I didn't remember. write down the name yeah. of the bazaar. But it's like it's a complete. It's a, it's an it, it appeared um, almost out of nowhere. Been there before. Yes. Yeah. Where did he go? Did I write it down? Yeah, there was a, a shopping trip many, many moons ago. Yeah. So you got your slightly haunted. Yeah, that's where I got my slightly haunted. haunted. So that's yeah. Let's 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 go. Yeah. That way. In that direction. So you're going to the bazaar. Yeah. Okay. It's the only place that we can go. Uh, I guess. Tram. Yeah. Yeah. Safest. Quickest. Well, if Caliburn's there, she'll offer you a lift. That'll be even quicker. Yeah. Is Caliburn in Is Caliburn there? there? And dressed. <laughs> there is that as well. There she'd go and make it. We can hang on for five minutes while she gets dressed. Yeah. That'd still be quicker than waiting for the tram. That's true. Tram goes ding ding ding. I thought I thought the tram went clang clang clang. See, inevitable no, cataclysm the on the twenty the first, two thousand eighteen. Ding 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 with the bell. String 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 with the hump string. Why would your strings go string? It's not like a table goes table. They're not Pokemon. So, so we had the inevitable cataclysm on the 20th of January 2018 and on the 27th of January 2019. So it's a yearly thing. That's three years ago. I'm starting to think this cataclysm isn't as inevitable as we thought. It's oh, it's inevitable. It's, it's just ongoing. <laughs> I am inevitable. And I am Javert. <laughs> the essence of Scotch. I am Spartacus. No. I am Brian Blessed. Yeah, there's the bazaar. It's the bazaar. Mm -hmm. yes. Which is, is like Birmingham Bullring Market <laughs> overlapped with Camden Market. Overlapped with Borough Market, overlapped with every single marketplace from every single, and like the, the suit from Marrakesh. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of envisioning, envis, in picturing, picturing that the person that we're going to see is the the kind of character that Robin Williams voiced from the very beginning of Aladdin, that's trying yeah. to walk through the lamp. Tupperware. Still fresh. The Dead Sea Tupperware. Isn't that Scooby Doo? <laughs> Ooh, and that's uh, zero visions. Hound stands sentinel, and you approach, but you don't want to be, don't want the suspicious hound to be closer than you. Snarling and glaring, the hound isn't certain of its enemies. 
Once it decides you're in, you are a danger, that's almost certainly a bad thing. However, the hound is also representative of our own doubts and difficult decisions. In many ways, we are the suspicious hound, or at least we ought to be. A negative card turns the suspicious hound to be the suggestion that one is plagued with doubts and indecision, or it might just suggest that one doesn't have enough information to make a good decision yet. Judgment must be passed and a decision must be made, um, but there is no clarity yet. If one is looking for an answer, that answer is too difficult to tell. Try again later. Um, um, well, because you've gone with all... Normally what I would have said from that is that when you get to the shop, you've forgotten what leaves that you needed. Yeah. And you you take appropriate action, but obviously you've gone with Roland, who's got the, the recipe written down there. Can you remember how to read? No, I know. Music. <laughs> you, 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 you do the. Uh, so, yeah, you, I'm. You've got I'm, the, the, the big bow. The also, um, isn't the zero of visions Wanda Maximoff? <gasps> Too soon! <laughs> my work here is done, my friends. Right. But, yeah, I'm going to go around. Because it's one of those things where you don't necessarily know which store there's going to be. You can't go to go, oh, I'm going to go to that store from the cinnamon and sold for the flowers. Yeah. It's everything's got everything, and so you kind of have to search through. It's a bazaar. <laughs> Every, and got everyone's to kind of otter. Yeah, <laughs> search through. And, um, but everyone's got deals on different things, so it's kind of who's got the best deal on the book of the leaf of the spell. <laughs> Best quality, and we want the best quality. What were the items again? We need um, a leaf of either regret, despair, or compassion. Well, we don't need those because we've already done the ritual. We just need them for Joseph. Yeah, we can do it for Joseph. Yeah. That's the ingredients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a leaf of leaf of dedication, dedication. Oh, right. And I think we've got everything else. Oh, so it's leave of either, so we can either get regret and despair or compassion and dedication. So yeah. I'm going to make the choice to try and find primarily a leaf of compassion for my sister, rather than the other two. Mm -hmm. um, but if we can't, then I'll get one of the others. <laughs> In your um, travellings, as you kind of do looking around and asking things, and, and you kind of go around to one of the edges of the bazaar where... Uh, the chappy was who sold you your sortia, hey. and uh, you kind of built because I remember when you bought that sortia, he knew you a bit already. Mm -hmm. And um, it's <laughs> like, Oh, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, um, I guess I am in the market for um, for the finest quality leaf. Of the following, being dedication and compassion. Oh, very rare, very rare. <laughs> um, Just proper teeth dry on that one. <laughs> um, oh, these mints are really strong. <laughs> well, with the changing times that they are, dedication is hard to come by nowadays. You can find despair almost everywhere, um, but. Dedication is, is very difficult, especially if it's with compassion. That, that, that's very, very tricky. Yes. Um, I wonder what you'd be doing with that. It's part of the spell that I need for my maker's cool stuff. Well, I remember a while ago you had some um, difficulties with the Thar and the, the stone faces? Well, the Thar are stone. I'm getting confused. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But all the they Thar were... agents that they use in Far Town are the stone faces. Yes. Normal Thar are kind of all gold. Yes. yes. And, um, and yeah, you've had some issues with them in the past. I don't know if you were breaking. I am. Um, I have a leaf of compassion. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also have something that may help you with the Thar. I'm listening. I don't know. 
<laughs> How much is the leaf of Quebec? Um, I don't know, 250. <laughs> leave the dedication as well. Yeah, but we'll that's leave. pretty defined. So you may not have any dedica- leave for dedication, but is, would we be able to find it somewhere? I am willing to pay. Why are you laughing? I was just thinking of the, the, the next unlikely merchant. The, the forest of Blade. Forest of Bullet Dodger. <laughs> Why do they call it that? Because he dodges bullets, Abby. <laughs> Um, because if I cannot get this, I cannot make my next level of baker. <laughs> so I only have the compassion at the moment, and as I said, the dedication is incredibly difficult to fit rare. Mm-hmm. As soon as it comes onto the market, it's taken up again. You may find it easier to go to the consortium yourself and see if they have any you can buy directly from them. Um, Um, but in the meantime, I have this, this vial oh, okay. that will enlighten you with the gardens of Bell. And what makes you think that this would be something useful for me? Well, as I said, I heard through the grapevine that you had difficulties with the... Okay. It's all happened. Nothing. We were waiting. Oh, okay. You didn't trust the seller selling the nice kind thing. Okay. So. Well, I didn't say that. It was him. Yeah, but unsurprisingly, Roland, the suspicious, is well, I did suspicious. Ask, why, why do you think it is something that I would be interested in? Because I want to sell it and I will give you anything that you may possibly want to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make the pennies. Well, yeah, there is that. <laughs> I am not doing this for free out of the goodness of my heart. Um, uh, yeah, um, it's like, like many people wait, 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 Many people had issues with the star, so yes, I suppose we were involved. Admit nothing. You do not have to. I will give it to somebody who wants it more. No, but, but, but what, what does it? No, I, I, I want to know what it does. <laughs> um, I get off your. <laughs> so, if no, I know what it is now. If, because I know, because I have the pictures everywhere, <laughs> I know that they went in your brain. But I have seen this vial can show you if they left any traces of them. Not to trace you, but if they left anything of themselves there. A potion of anti-brain spider. Because it was spiders that were doing all the stuff in here, wasn't it? No, that was the spider that went, went in, in there to kind of... Clear it. Oh yeah, that was the, um, the spider so did surgeon. did they plant anything else in there to basically track me? Mm-hmm. Or, or not necessarily track me, Or anything me, but that, you know, a shadow that you could track them? Mm-hmm. Potion of brain scan. <laughs> potion of brain truth. How... How much? Mm, it's very expensive. It's 400. Crystal, no, mage coins. Oh no, what's the funny number in it again? <laughs> uh, probably four mage coins. Yeah, four mage coins. What was the smallest? Crystals. Crystals. Okay. Ma- major quality, but you've, you've got glass. No, they're, they're a different scale. So you've yeah. got glass orbs, crystal orbs, gem orbs. Yeah. And then mage coins are a different. And I've got a butt ton of mage coins. But yeah. I don't know how many because I can't remember. I wrote it in somewhere, but it's more than four. Oh yeah, because I've got like 30 mage coins here, I've but got, I've also got two true orbs. I've got two true orbs and 1,689 crystal. Yeah, because I've got 30 mage coins, but I know I've got like a load more, but I don't know where I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. But my expenses are low, because I let you pay for everything. Okay, dude, <laughs> Fun view guys and our crazy party. We kept 
fun. Look, you're, you're alive because of me. You're welcome. <laughs> main. Main. Yeah, I knew it was like, <laughs> Banger main. Banger main? I hardly know the main. Banger. That's somebody who spent far too much time in Banger. No. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to have a good time in Banger. Unless you want to go to the hospital. Um, I'm going to ask a question that I know you're not going to do the answer to because it's the same as like, how did you come by this? The star has been a thorn in my side for many years. Poking their noses where they do not belong. I have sought ways to uncover things about them, but this can only be used by somebody who has been infiltrated before, and I have thankfully never had that. Okay. So she comes in close to you, and I just like, if I find out this oh uh, give my best customer would I like to yeah, do <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, there are whispers in your ears if I find out this is going to help the far your merchandise or your ability to sell things will become apparent I would never like to do your best customer <laughs> you my slightly haunted uh, <laughs> it's very haunted you are very annoying <laughs> it is very haunted now isn't this merchant Zathras, <laughs> yeah. if I remember rightly. Uh, very yeah. similar. No, yeah. he, he was a he was a very Russian guy. Oh. Yeah. He's not now. He was the um the the Russian priest that gives you the shotgun in uh Raven Home. Oh yeah. He's not there. He's um he's Robin Williams. Yeah. Anyway. And so I will take it. Take it? And I will take that. Um, Tupperware, because it's rare. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep it in. The devil is never a maker. Unless that you give your That's quite an awesome representation of an angel. The eyes are on the way in the eyes of the devil. Is that yeah. the, I can. Is that the. Is that the seraphim? I can't remember. Yeah. The nemesis of secrets is a prince of lies, the devil. Of course, there are many devils. Their commonality is their need to corrupt the world around them. Charming, sexy liars that draw mortals into their own <laughs> evil. Devils don't kill, they talk, they don't destroy, they tempt. The term devil stands apart from demon in that way. A demon is typically a relatively unintelligent engine of violence and destruction. Devils are far more insidious. It's often, most often a sign of danger, but its interpretation can focus more on the devil's tools than its aims, charm, persuasion and honeyed words. But beware the insincerity of such things and the lies they conceal. In more straightforward readings, the card represents a moral seduction, either literally, sexually, or figuratively in the seduction of evil. Making easy choices can be seductive, but that way lies real danger. So Too late, you bought it. I was going to say, <laughs> I have a concern. <laughs> I bought it. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it. Why, why am I suddenly thinking of needful things? Because because in my world, we've got this now. What Wait a minute. Is. I'm thinking of needful things, which I wrote. <laughs> hmm. Inception. <laughs> Brainception. Because we've got it, this is in no one else's hands now, so you know, if we can keep this and say, keep it. Right. Anyway, so we need to go to the um, Emporium. So, the Motion Mills Consortium. We need to consortium. Which consortium? Has um, Caliban been keeping the bike warm? Mm. Let's go. <sighs> She's she's got what is I think the latest snack 
in uh, Saturine. It's a Mobius pretzel. <laughs> Does it give us more? <laughs> it's Morbin time. Oh, Morbin time. A, 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 a Morbius pretzel with infinite salt. It just stays salty. One one side of it is um, salted, and the other one's like cinnamon sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. I often think about your comment earlier about you know those sweetie dummies and just having a salt lick on a ring or on a necklace. Yeah. Just, I totally buy that. Yeah. I, I want to make it happen. I I, I absolutely would. Bob will pass the No. Just eat one might help jar people. Double salt licorice pastels. You can get like little li- licorice dragons. I'm I'm not a fan of salt licorice. I don't like licorice. Salt. 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 Just as she has started using the middle of the tube of the toilets because there is a trip. Mm. When we um, print out tomorrow and I'll put it on so the dots don't go down, they'll go side to side. Oh. But then there's like a split that so you still have to take the split. I don't know, it's quite a a loosey switch. You could just get a thing of salted butter and stick like a popsicle stick in it. Celestial Bazaar. Celestial Bazaar. We'll get some. Okay. The Emotion Mills Consortium. We should get some food for you. Have we been there before? No. Okay, so. It's epic. It looks like it, you know, Charlie's Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. With all the, um, all the, um, chimneys going mm. up. And it looks like really big and imposing. And there's these big wall around it and these big gates. Yeah. And these like big a kind of. Thing, Sorry? Like a yes. Thing. Oh, okay. But more and bigger and like kind of Sagrada Familia size. Ooh. Big mass. Oh, do they kind of? But then in that <laughs> same a, way, this is a random familiar. thought. Mm. Monsters Inc. and the yeah. Yes. <laughs> but in the same way, Sagrada Familia, the there's different areas of the building, and you can kind of get a sense of what emotions are being milled in those areas by the way that the thing lies. Yeah, I just went again. Something else. No, I just gotta not move my head. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm alright. You good? I'm alright. So you get an idea of the way that the um, chimneys are kind of the way that they look. So some of them are like straight up and quite bright, and you've got kind of different colours coming out of the top, and you've got like flowers painted on them and they're lovely and it's almost like um um yellow submarine like almost like mm. cartoon looking and then some of them are like gnarled and twisted and they seem to have like worms wrapped around them and or brambles coming out of them and some of them are kind of um very clean very um official lookings uh, you know and so on and so forth there's lots of different areas and and it's not like there's happy, there's sad, there's, and they all kind of merge into each other. And you can see so obviously somewhere in between there's like a happy and envy mixed together. And you can see just so much of the enormity that it is human emotion. Um, I'll buy you some hand <laughs> Buy us more. Okay. <laughs> um, and there's kind of these unmarked vehicles again very uh, Willy Wonka style just vans and they, they keep coming out and the doors open and close but clearly nothing is coming in and or going out without these vans um so what do we do they have like a gift shop I was just <laughs> gonna say, I just think about Langage Farm and there's, there's an actual you know shop there I've also written down because the, the the image just spoke to me. Sad chimneys. Sad chimneys. Is it kind of? Is it known 
how they distill all this stuff? Like, people just go into a room and let loose? <laughs> or do they kill people? I, don't know. I, I seem to remember there was something a little bit sinister yeah. about how they were harvesting certain in, emotions from people. That in any of... Because obviously they need they have some like publicity out in the world and it's always a happy time and this is what we do at the mission uh, right, and it does yeah, look okay. like charlie Chuck, and it's all wonderful but everybody knows that if that's what they do in the happy ones what must be happening in the sad ones yeah. and um it's why would the consortium be someone that josephine would have borrowed the money from Really they're a, they're a, they're like they're they, a ready money lender. So they're like a, they're like you, the mint, effectively, aren't they? Yeah. So you just yeah, they're like a not a bank as such, but the credit union. <laughs> we'll give you whatever. I think they might have been mob. Yeah, that as well. Well, this is the thing because I think they're, and again, it's never official, but the, it's kind of known that they do lend. Um, but what they want when you return the interest, so what you, you pay back what you owe in in whatever currency, but the interest is taken in emotion. Oh, and you, <laughs> and you don't get to say what they're in need of at that time. <laughs> so technically, I couldn't rock up there now, pay off Josephine's debt because there is the interest in the regards to the emotion, you or could, I could pay. You would have to pay the emotion. You would have to. So it would probably behove be the heaven not to say that you owe anything right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Wait, you don't. No, this is for me. Okay, well, we're just here to buy some leaf. <laughs> the alchemist. <laughs> Transformation, usually in the sense of an advancement or enlightenment, she hopes to better herself through understanding. As a <laughs> talk. <laughs> as adept as a secrets family, the alchemist is of course complicated. Her knowledge is deep and vast. Magical processes, processes surround her. Chemicals and substances and the flame that catalyzes them will dance upon her fingertips. But her true raw materials are are her own essence and her own soul. Makers often see this card as a good this omen. Is, this is a card about what? <laughs> the alchemist's complexity suggests that it's far more to a situation than previously understood. Just as often, however, she indicates drastic and sudden change. A new opportunity, a new person involved, or a new facet to a problem. Should one turn to the alchemist and danger... Should one turn the alchemist and dangerous elixir consecutively, this is called the ultimate transformation, and it suggests total and complete upheaval of the situation, and possibly someone involved in it. I'm beginning to fear your haunted game. <laughs> it's not my haunted game, I'm not running yet. <laughs> the haunted game. <laughs> My swat ear was nothing. My, my, my swat ear was nothing compared to this. Why is it haunted? I'm beginning to mistrust the hand of Vizsla. Mm. Well, <laughs> gift shop, leaf, get the f out of here. Fun. And I need you to keep me under control because I'm going to be going into a place full of like Kid candy store. Yeah, basically. This, do you know, like when I went to the Emporium last time, I was like, ah! and now I had to go in with like a purpose. So that's what we were for. And even when I'm in my own shop, I'm like, ah! because it's exciting and stuff like the grenades and light and whatever. But here yeah. is like, <laughs> this is not how this works. So you've got all the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my knee just popped. Oh. Got all the towers, got the big walls, got the gates and everything like this. Mm -hmm. The shop is kind of, I don't know, 20 yards to the side of the gate, <laughs> but it's on the outside of the gates. Oh, okay. And you go in and it's very small and it's like, <laughs> almost like, it without all the stuff in it, like open all hours style, <laughs> yeah. with the desk in front, there's nothing yeah. on display. 
there's just a desk and they get this. It's like going into screw fix. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. behind. <laughs> yeah. Can we go oh, in? Boss. Can we can we go in and get some pork pie? All that is not per per pork is per 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 pie. And some genuine Jamaican jersey ginger cake. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a story about ginger cake. It's my sister and her friends thought it'd be funny to buy some not to eat it but to throw it at walls because it stick really well. Um, and so they did this out of the size of the local local big Tesco's. And I'm not joking, that stuff was there probably for a good ten years. Is that one in Harbour? No, in Ketrin. Because <laughs> it, like, if you give it a good smush, it'll look like something else. So, but yeah, it was just, every time you'd go to, the, like, Hayley told me about what they'd done, so every time I went to the Tesco in Ketrin, it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's just been this, what is that? It's Jamaican cake. <laughs> So next to dessert is Jamaican ginger cake. Just like yes. Ginger cake and custard. Mm-hmm. Ginger cake and sausage. I'm not as cool. Oh, my roommate. <laughs> probably something. Too late. But I'm pretty sure Invisible Sun is really the vector for food. Yeah. <laughs> I think everything that comes into contact with us, with us is a vector for food. <laughs> yeah. Is that such if a bad thing? If we scotch it, we will. <laughs> If you scotch it, we will come. Yeah. <laughs> what, what sense of that word are we using? Both. <laughs> Both is good. Got get. Okay, so. so... So the shopkeeper's got to be Granville. Yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Got to be Arkwright. Sorry. I knew who you meant. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm not doing his accent. Actually, he's got four candles. He's <laughs> his four candles. But behind him are um, three doors. One way to the dreams. <laughs> she showed them for a hand yes. of paper. Yes, <laughs> yes. There is a laminated book of dreams. Um, and it's not... So, it's like scratch and sniff. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so basically... It's emotional. Exactly. It's emotional. Exactly. So it's got like <coughs> tabs that like the old boss catalogue has. Yeah. Like, Positive, negative, mixed. Exactly. It's got different sections. Exactly. <laughs> One that is every time you open it, it goes emotion. <laughs> <laughs> That's the very back of the book. <laughs> oh. So you, you've got like, you know, emotions for family occasions, yeah, yeah. You're, you know. Personal emotions and just in the back. Emotional damage. Every time you open it, that's what happens. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> it can be amusing sometimes. So, um, they've got effectively like tongs to go the book because you don't want to be feeling every page that you touch, oh, you want too much overload. But if you get to the right kind of area and ju- gently touch the page, you get a little sense of the emotion in question. Snifter. Here we go. Touch the page. That's going to be like, if you're an emotion junkie, it's like, <sighs> nicking one of these books is an emotion junkie's dream. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's not left out. He brings it to the counter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the fourth one this year that <laughs> I've had to create because somebody has got nicked it. <laughs> and then this big, uh, um, t- Till comes after him trying to find it. <laughs> 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 See, now for some because reason, in the I've, I've, this world, that I've got an image of fairies kind of sneaking in and trying to touch two pages at once because fairies are too small to feel more than one emotion at a time and then they go... <laughs> <laughs> and you get to the section at the back and a couple of the pages are kind of stuck together because it's those emotions. <laughs> It there. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were all thinking it. Mm, sticky galashes. <laughs> anyway, so yes, so, so, um, sir, madam, I am looking for your finest leaf of dedication, if possible. Ah, very rare, very rare. Yeah. I'm aware of this, which is why we've come straight to the source because. Need to tell me the Great Emotion Mills Consortium doesn't have it. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
you know, make her exams to pass if it's the one thing I need. And it's a very stressful time. <clears throat> well, it's, um, it's actually not in the book because it has been so rare. Um, we, it, because it's been so rare, we've had to not. Slightly balding, long hair, he comes in and goes, Go leave for calm, take a little leave for calm. You make it very hard. <laughs> Sorry. This is what we do to him every week. And for the sandwich. <laughs> When you're doing your thing, and the moonlight's bouncing off your head and your asses, this is difficult to tell them apart. <laughs> Such a shame about Graham Lyman there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, uh, dedication, it kind of, it, it, it baffles me as to why that is so rare, because, uh, like myself, I am dedicated to my studies. But why is there not so much more of it around? Are people just giving up with you now? How are you dedicated to your studies? I... We can farm it from yourself with a slight, you know, commission. See, I know that a good spell cannot be taken from oneself. It needs to come from another source. I have already thought of this. Dedication is all we need. <laughs> then you won't be Roy Roy Cassidy. Cassidy. That's what I was just about to say, the reason why dedication is so hard to find is because Roy Castle is dead. Yes. I was holding on to that one. That's a great one. <laughs> Full self and defend. Mm. Is, is he dead though, or has he just gone back to Saturnine? Mm. Yes. It will not be farmed from myself. I'd rather take it from another source. Um, then we don't have any at the moment. We are having to do it on a um, order by place, um, made to order, or farmed to order basis. Um, now we do have some likely candidates that are um, hopefully coming in in the next couple of days. We can take your details and let you know when we were, how much is it that you want. Oh, just a leaf. Oh, okay. That might be more doable. Um, but it may take a little while. Like I say, it could take a day or two um, just to properly um, farm there and um, and see, exactly and get it to solidify it. properly. I, lo I look to Roland with a with a look of Do we think we can handle it for that long? The the main reason that we need it yeah. is because we need a way of communicating with Josephine back at Shea Josephine mm -hmm. so we can open up the Bifrost to get there and back. Yeah. So we can go back there now because I don't want to leave Stobot there yeah. on, on his lungs. I think we can, uh, yeah. we can go back and we can come, yes. come, back, in a, come back in a few you days. You have to see if you had anybody who had excessive dedication that you would who would be willing to be farmed from you, then it would, the process would be significantly shorter. Okay. But it's We've got plenty of people with lots of dedication, but I don't trust these guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to put in an order for it and for it to be sent to my shop. That's fine. We shall take payment now. Uh, how much would it be for you? Tree fitting. Tree fitting. 400, 400 for the previous ones. So five years. Oh, it was 250 for the youth percussion. Yeah. yeah. It was four for the far thing. Oh, yeah. And four mage coin. Five, for... five mage coin for. Okay. That's fine. Lovely. Um, for it to be sent to. Um, Reggie. Reggie Kenny. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, will you be the signatory? Because for an item so valuable, we do need to make sure. The I can't remember his name. He works in there at the moment that takes over it. Who looks after it day to day? Bear Grylls or Hansy Dave or no? Bear Grylls is the short order cook at the Rose. Hansy Dave is the barman at the Rose. Oh, uh, Shoeless Joe. Oh, 
No. Who do? Who did we have? There was uh, a guy who had like a head of a badger or something. Something like that. Mm. Oh, they or, called or, it by a moose. Was he another one of um, Doug Bradley, Doug Jones's? Yes. Yes, yeah. he was. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Jones is playing about 70% of the supporting <laughs> cast in this. No complaints. He showed a great photo on Twitter the other day of him and Michael Keaton on the set of Batman Returns because he was one of the clowns. Mm. Mm. What we need to do is at some point we need to sit down and actually write out a dramatis persona of all of the recurring characters that yeah, we've got. Yeah. You don't know if they can be recurring until you recur to them. Yeah, but we it's nice to know like who's part of our um can you not do it as like a sort of business account thing and just have it signed to the business so whoever's on or staff at the time, staff at the time can sign for it. Yep, that'll be fine. Because I am likely not to be there but okay. There's only like three of us that work there. Can you just check upstairs and put a full thing in there? Yeah. Are they going to offer a loan of business credit? Yeah. Line of something else? <laughs> I, know, I know the finest and finest, and no. <laughs> I do not want a line of lust. Thank you very much today. That went very wrong, wrong, very wrong last time. But good time. Good time. Yeah, we don't want to set up a line of credit, or, uh, quite apart from sort of like not trusting them. If we kind of get into some sort of like business dealings with them and then they might realise that you're related to Josephine and then that massive debt might suddenly become, oh, by the way. Really? Yeah. We are just private citizens. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I thank you for your business. <coughs> Good day to you. Expensive, but uh, worth it. Back to the rose. Get on with you. Uh, is there a rough time frame on this? Um, it should be with you in yeah, with you inside three working days. And I'm thinking of anthropomorphic if days. For any reason, it's not. We shall send correspondence. A missive. Oh, Back to the rose, back through the Bifrost, report back to Stobold and Josephine. Oh. Uh, is, there any, is there any emotion we can get you and Swift off before we leave? <laughs> Look who you're asking. Happiness, unadulterated happiness. Despair. Joy. <laughs> Got plenty of despair. Let's give you a little bit of. Uh... You, re you really are a pusher, aren't you? Tendence. I've said no. <laughs> would, would you try a little tenderness? Try a little tenderness where I was trying to go to oh. remember the line. <laughs> Rob is a good place Robert's to wrap fine. it up. Oh, it's a yeah. line from an Amazing Devil song that's stuck in my head. Like, oh, I, I can't remember it fully, and it's like that perfect. <laughs> Give me a bit of a lot of it. That's it, I cannot remember it. I've got the tune going through my head, but not the lyrics. <laughs> cool. Leave it there? Yeah. How do people find it? Joy, despair, otherwise. Um, despair, my bank account's all fucking <laughs> I think, expensive. I think nothing for Roland, really. He's just been. Um, I feel like he's taking it over. Sorry? The wall of meat. Yeah. Don't think he's even been the wall of meat, he's been Stephen King. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Suspicious, though. And for your hook? D despair, I think. You decide yeah. On it. The, the thing is, is part of me was thinking is that Stobold has 
so many kind of pots of dedication tucked away inside him is that I don't know if they can kind of fish it out from certain specific areas like they could fish out the dedication to whichever demonic um, pact that he was part of but leave the dedication to the rose and I think the, because Stobold's done the ritual of the rose that dedication is like locked in mm. and set in place but it's the very nature of dedication itself isn't that the most quality dedication mm. 